Hey guys, what's up? This is Peter James. As you've seen a while ago, that's my old PC. This is the part 1 of my reviving my old PC series. There will be part 2 on the next video, so watch out for the super transformation. Let's start. So this PC was bought on the year 2010. So it's about more than 10 years old now. Wow. It's an old style case. Opening it. Oh wow, no cable management, nasty dust. This is a first gen Intel Core i5-750 with 4 gigs of DDR3 RAM. Right now, it doesn't have any GPU and internal storage so I bought a temporary GPU which is a cheap NVIDIA GeForce 710 since this first gen Intel doesn't have an integrated GPU. And I also bought Samsung Evo 860 250GB SSD for the internal storage. Then we will upgrade the RAM from 4 gigs to 8 gig. Cool right? We will make this relevant for 2021. Of course, I will need to clean this. To do that, we will need the compressed air to put out the nasty dust from the sensitive electrical components. This can be bought online for about 300 Philippine pesos or cheaper depending on the brand. So let's get it clean! Oh wow, this is super nasty. Let's clean it with this compressed air. Remember to use this can of air in an upright position. This is to prevent leakage of the compressed air liquid inside. Clean out the dust here and there. So this is how I removed the RAM. Uh oh, sorry it jumped. When cleaning the CPU fan with the compressed air, make sure to hold it so that it will not rotate freely. When it rotates, it might generate small amount of electricity which is bad for your electrical components on your CPU or door motherboard. Oh, this air duster will get super cold when you're using it. Acid super cold. Remember to protect yourself from having a frostbite. I wrap it with a cloth to protect my hands and finger. Dusting the power supply. Dusting out the case fans. You can use a brush like this, but only for the components that are not sensitive. Do not use a brush on the motherboard, ah. Huh? When I say old PC, look at this super nasty optical DVD drive. Yuck! Let's take it out and clean. But I will not put this back anymore. <laughs> Who uses DVD nowadays, ah? Huh? Again, dusting out the motherboard, then the power supply. You can use a small brush to clean hard to reach areas like this. Let's remove the CPU cooler to properly clean it. Oh wow, this is super nasty. Look at the dust build up beside the CPU chip. Of course when you remove the CPU cooler, we need to remove the old thermal paste on the cooler and the CPU itself. Just get a clean cloth and spray it with an alcohol. Then clean and remove the old paste. Then I will put a new thermal paste here. I bought this Arctic MX4 thermal compound for this one. I will put the link of the products I bought for this video on the description box just in case you are interested. Usually I just put a pea size amount for the compound. Just small amount like this. How about you? Do you think this is not enough? Tell us about how much thermal paste do you put in your rig. Comment down below. After that, let's put back the CPU cooler. Excuse my CPU cooler, this is a jumbo cooler from Cooler Master. But hey, this is effective cooler, huh? Then let's install the 8GB RAM stick.
Then the new temporary GPU. Oh, when I say 10 year old GPU, by that period, USB 3.0 doesn't exist yet. So let's make this PC relevant this 2021 by adding a USB 3.0 and USB C using this USB PCI expansion card. Since this is an old PC, the case only supports the traditional 3.5 HDD slot. So we need this 2.5 to 3.5 inch bay to put our SSD in place. So that's it. This is the part one of my PC revival series. I'm not yet satisfied on this PC revival. So watch out for the next video for the next transformation. That's it for now. Like the video if you like it. Subscribe for more videos like this. Watch my other videos like the review for the Google Nest Mini versus the Google Home Mini which can we have found here. Thank you guys. See you in the next video. Bye.